Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In this part two of the series on building your own um, button box using a Bluetooth wireless uh, blue hid board, we're going to take a look at how you connect up potentiometers, uh, encoders and a little thumb joystick. Uh, in the first part of the video we talked about how to um, set the blue hid up and get it connected to your PC and as a test we also added a button to it um, so I won't be covering how to put the how to connect a button uh, if you want to have a quick look at that then go back and um, check out part one um, it's really appreciated that you taken the time to come and see uh, the videos we have on this channel uh, and if you haven't already done so then please subscribe and you'll get notifications when I do other videos and it really helps a great deal if you can give us a thumbs up if you like the video. So first of all, let's take a look at setting up um, a rotary potentiometer as an axis. Okay, wiring up a potentiometer to the blue head. We've got one here, which is the 10K one. Uh, they recommend using the 100K to prevent battery drain. But all I've got is 10k at the moment to test this. So on a potentiometer you put positive oh, positive one side, negative the other, and the middle pin is your signal. So it can be positive this side and negative that side, or positive that side and negative that side, it doesn't matter. But this pin will always be your signal. Now on the blue head, you've got some 5 volt positive pins up here that you can use. And every one of these individual pins at the end of each of these clusters of pins is a ground. But what they suggest you do is assign a pin to be positive in the U config and another pin as the signal that way they can you can turn the positive off like when you put this thing into sleep mode and it doesn't drain the battery so what we're going to do is we're going to put um, this pin here as positive 5 volts this pin here is the signal and this pin here as ground like so so orange being 5 volts positive, the yellow is our signal, black ground, over onto the pot, orange 5 volts positive, ground, and the one in the middle, the yellow one, is our signal wire. So let's take a look at how that is set up in uconfig. So just a little recap on how to connect to the blue head. Down here we have Bluetooth devices. Double click on it. See it says blue head paired. If I put the battery into the blue head to turn it on and wake it up. comes up and says it's connected and if you remember from the last video all of the configuration is done in the uconfig program as you see down here at the bottom it says boards available one okay two set up our potentiometer as an axis. If you remember we had this pin J4 as our 5 volts supply. So down here in the bottom we select 5 volts, press apply. We had this 
in over here as the common ground. So it went to the other side of the potentiometer. So all we need now is this pin. That's our signal pin. So we select analog axis. And for this purpose we'll make it our X axis. Click apply. Now when we go into devices and printers we've got our blue head uh, available there. We right mouse button on it and go to game controller settings. It displays as a 6 axis 32 button joystick with hat switch. Go to properties and then if we, we can see here our x axis is working. It's moving the cursor there. If we go back to uconfig Close that. If we make that analog axis um, axis three, for example, and we can see here our Z axis functioning. <coughs> now we can use that for uh, clutch paddles on the back of our steering wheel if we wish or <coughs> we could use it, um, use a pair of them to control the cursor. Not sure why you necessarily want to do that. Um, or we could have it as a um, hand controlled throttle anything like that, anything that you need an axis for. So the next thing I want to connect to the board is this little joystick, little thumb joystick. It's not strictly, it's like a hat switch. Um, you can press it as well and you get a button. Um, it doesn't quite work like the sort of POV hat switches that you can get, um, but it could be made to work like one. So if you can see we've got ground pin at the top, 5 volt pin, VRX and VRY, and at the bottom SW. SW stands for switch, so that's the contact for when you press it. If you look, it's essentially just one potentiometer there another potentiometer there that you're moving. So wiring wise on the blue head we've got I'm going to use this J4 section we've got an earth and a black wire and then we've got the other four wires connected to the first four pins top and bottom was two pins top and bottom it's a J4 section so yellow is going to be for the X axis orange will be for the Y axis the blue will be allocated as a 5 volt supply and green underneath the blue oh, uh, yeah green underneath the blue this one will be the switch. So literally. So there we are. So black ground goes to the ground pin on the blue head. Blue is providing the five volts. VRX is from the yellow. VRY from the orange. And the green is for the switch. So now let's take a look at that in the uconfig program and see how we load that configuration to the board. Okay, setting up the little thumb joystick, we had, just 
decided that we would use this pin as a 5 volt this pin would be an X axis one below it is going to be Y axis and this pin would be a switch gamepad switch we can choose any button but I'm going to do it button 12 choose another one for the secondary down action is normal primary and the up action is to clear it press apply So if we move the thumb switch X direction, see it moving there, and the Y direction, but it's not calibrated because that should be in the middle. So if we go settings, calibrate, press the button, and we move the thumbstick in a circle. next and then click to verify the center point finish okay it's in the middle and move the X and Y direction axis and when we press the button number 12 lights up to indicate that's working Okay, so using these uh, cheap encoders, link in the description, so these are five pin encoders, but you can actually just use the three pins on this one side. So the middle pin is ground, and either of the, either of the pins on the other side are, um, or one will be for up and one will be for down. So on the blue head, I've connected the black wire to ground on this uh, what J2 section of the board. You can do it on any of them, I've just chosen to do it on the J2 um, for this example, so that it keeps it separate from uh, the other examples that I've done. And then the yellow and orange wires connected to see the first pin and the one below it on that J2 section so I need to connect the black ground wire to the middle pin so there's the encoder connected so the black ground pin into the middle and then the yellow and orange either side it can it can be either either side um, it will just mean that one way is if is one button press and the other is another button press so when you associate it in game you can have it the one button press go say up or positive or minus for something like the brake balance Okay, so let's have a look at how we, just have another look at the wiring on this side. Um, so let's have a look at how we configure that in the software and load it to the board. Okay, to set up the encoder, we had the, we used the J2 section. We set this pin up as button one, secondary any other button primary pulse or normal primary actually apply and we put the other one for the other direction below it 
so you can set it to any other button but as soon as we set that for button one let's do it for button two secondary to any other button normal primary up action is clear Press apply and when we go to game controller settings properties when we twist the code one way we'll see when we twist the encoder one way, we'll see the one flash. When we twist it the other way, we'll get the two flashing. So we can see. Okay. Okay, so that's how you, uh, in video one, obviously, we showed how to set up a button, um, which was relatively easy. Please go and check out that video if you've, if you've jumped in at this stage. Um, but essentially it was like when we set the hat switch button you just assign one of these um, to a button and connect one side of the button to the ground and one side to the um, pin that you've, you've assigned as a switch okay for the purposes of this video I'm going to call that it thanks very much for watching if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do so it helps a great deal if you like the video please give us a thumbs up so until the next video thanks very much for watching